गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ गौतम शर्मा आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन एस एजुकेशन सो फॉर मोर मोर डिटेल्स यू कैन विजिट आवर वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट सेपिंस एजुकेशन डॉट कॉम सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वेब स्पीड एज वेल एज सुपर पोजिशन पिस्टेंस ऑफ वेब नोट बीट ओके सो वेब स्पीड मीन्स वेट एज वी नो दैट वेन वेब वेब डू अप एंड डाउन सो वट हैपन्स द पार्टिकल्स मोव अप एंड डाउन बट वट हैपन टू द वेब it means that the what the have the energy propagation which at which speed the wave is traveling so we will discuss all this thing okay so suppose this is a also a wave uh, this is a wave right see here how much speed it this wave is going moving on so we need to do uh, we need to find that we i am not talking about the particle speed but i am not only talking about the wave speed so i will also uh, discuss about the superposition of the wave let us suppose let us suppose there is a two type of wave uh, let us suppose there are two type of wave one wave is like this and another wave is coming uh, like this so what will happen when we if they will superimpose so either they will become zero their intensity will become zero or intensity will become maximum so i will uh, i will talk about this both right so let us uh, discuss each and each by um, one by one now the speed of the transfer wave on a stretching string so let us consider uh, this is a string this is a, our string this is our string and uh, it has a tension in the string tension in the string is t and uh, we uh, mu is the mu is the mass of density that is mass per unit length of the mass per unit length of the string so if you want to find a speed of the speed of the wave wave so we can directly find out like this v is equal to root under t by mu that is t is the tension in the string and mu is the mass density we can also find a velocity as a root under uh, t divided by rho into a that is rho is the density and a is the area of the cross uh, a is the amplitude a is the amplitude right so now um, let us discuss about the superposition principle here what happens a wave is going moving in this direction with the amplitude of a and another wave is coming with the amplitude a so when the both will get add on so what will happen it will create a bigger wave like this having a amplitude having a amplitude of a plus a that is equal to 2a that is amplitude will become 2 to uh, two sides so it is the maximum intensity wave is due to the superposition now let us consider there is a, another wave which is moving in upward direction like this so it is going upward and uh, the one wave which is coming in this direction try to superimpose but the amplitude is different let us consider there is amplitude is a1 and its amplitude is a2 now we know that both have a different phase and the both are in opposite direction so definitely uh, the wave which will form will be shorter than the maximum and longer than the lower one so let us consider this is the wave and it has a amplitude of a1 minus a2 because it is trying to make it up and this uh, wave is uh, trying to move, move down so finally the net wave is net uh, wave amplitude is a1 minus a2 now uh, let us suppose let us suppose it is the wave of the amplitude a and it is also the wave of an amplitude a but both are moving in a opposite direction so what will happen generally it will come here and this wave will come here so finally what will happen it will try to make a straight line only a straight line line with zero amplitude amplitude a is equal to zero because both are equal amplitude magnitude of the amplitude is are equal but in opposite direction okay so i hope you have understood now one thing we need to understand that if uh, amplitude become zero so what about the energy propagation so what happened to the energy so energy will form but what will happen it will vibrate uh, for a some period of a time so with the zero amplitude it will vibrate with the zero amplitude and it will go either left side or right side so energy our energy will not uh, be destroyed it will only go uh, by um, with the speed of v that is energy stored in will be in the form of kinetic energy only 
okay now let us uh, discuss about the reflection of a pulse what is the reflection of a pulse so let us consider there is a wave has been created by this string okay and this string is fixed at one end so this is very important this is a fixed end point and the wave is going with the help of y is equal to a sin omega t minus kx now as soon as this wave will propagate so it won't able to uh, uh, go outside so it will just come back with just opposite direction so what uh, what are the changes we can see we can see that the changes y is equal to a sin omega t will be remain same but since the velocity earlier velocity is in the positive direction of x axis but now it is in the negative direction of x axis so if it is in the negative direction of x axis so sign will be changed that is from minus kx to plus kx now one more thing we need to add that there is a phase difference which is known as, there is a phase difference why because this is in this top uh, direction and it is in bottom so it is it is phase with the pi, pi angle that is 180 degree so its turn is uh, total 180 degree so the phase difference become a uh, pi so finally our return or reflection um, wave equation e equation of equation of reflected wave reflected wave can be written as y is equal to a sin omega t plus kx plus pi so this is the reflected wave, wave equation so whenever we require reflected wave uh, so we can write like this the, but the thing is that this should be a fixed end it is not a movable end okay so I, as it is opposite direction and upside uh, upside down that's why we have added this pi okay so let us uh, uh, discuss about the reflection of wave but the criteria is different what is the the criteria for this see uh, it is moving with the positive x direction so the equation become y is equal to a sin omega t minus kx but you know that it is not fixed in it is not fixed if it is not fixed so it will move like this so it won't change the orientation of the wave so a wave will remain in the same but uh, it will reflect back with and it will move in negative direction of x axis so whenever speed is in negative direction of y, uh, x axis so our sign for the k that is wave number will change or x will be changed so can we write this equation as y is equal to a sin omega t plus kx i hope you have understood now reflection of wave has a two equation that is y is equal to a sin omega t plus uh, kx plus pi in case of in case of fixed end and this will be uh, applicable on in case of in case of movable end okay so these two equations should be remember while studying the reflection of the wave now wave goes from thin to thick string so let us consider there is a string which is earlier it is a thin and there is a thick okay it means that the wave will move from rare to denser so what will happen so let us consider this is an incident wave having equation y is equal to a sin omega t minus kx now what happens since it is thin and in front of this it is a thick thick rigid bodies so what will happen it will act as a rigid body it won't able to penetrate this is a thin 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 string so it won't any, uh, penetrate the thick string so what will happen there will be a reflection of a wave and there will be a, somehow it may happens that uh, there is a transmission of wave okay since here we know that uh, let us consider incident wave y1 is equal to ai sin omega t minus k1 x where k1 is the wave number now what will be the reflected wave since it will act as a rigid body so we have to add pi we have to add pi we also have to add um, positive sign because it will come back in this direction 
so the reflected wave has a amplitude of a r as well as sin omega t minus k x since wave number will be same so it will be k1 x because the string is same so k will k1 will remain same and it will be added with the pi where k1 is equal to 2 pi by lambda 1 where lambda 1 is the wavelength of the wave reflected wave okay now let us uh, discuss about the transmitted wave so the transmitted wave what happens see it goes like this so it means that the uh, amplitude may change so amplitude of the transmission wave is same sine omega t and the direction is in the positive direction of y axis so we can add omega t minus k to x and we haven't seen that there is a, a uh, there is a orientation change downside it is not like this okay so no orientation change so no need to add plus pi and all so i hope you have understood this uh, equation so transmitter uh, transmitted y transmitted wave has a equation at is equal to sine omega t minus k to x so i hope you have understood this transmitted wave equation and the k2 is equal to 2 pi by lambda 2 i hope you have understood now now the thing is that uh, wave wave when goes from thick to thin so let us consider this is a thick string and we, we have created a wave in the thick one and we haven't created on a thin one so what will happen if you incident so what will happen is there any obstacle no obstacles are there so it means that there is no possibility that uh, wave will get reflected so wave will only get transmitted so incident wave let us consider if we have incident ray, a wave as y i is equal to a i into sine omega t minus k1 x so the reflected wave a y r will be equal to a s r sine omega t plus uh, k1 x okay but uh, mm, there is no reflection of a wave so i think uh, this uh, won't act, uh, act because there um, will be no possibility of a reflection of wave but the transmission of wave will happen so at will be equal to sine omega t minus k 2 x so this equation won't be there okay so these two equations should be remembered i hope you have understood now now let us consider a superposition of the wave what is superposition of a wave the displacement at any time due to the number of wave meeting simultaneously at a point in a medium is the vector sum of the individual displacement due to which the one wave at the point at a same point see what happens let us consider this the net wave displacement so let us consider there is a net wave displacement as y1 then is, there is another uh, wave which has a displacement net displacement of y2 so what will happen here so we will add on so we will get y as y1 plus y2 plus y3 like this so this is applicable for the types of a wave except wave of a high amplitude so only applicable for only applicable for only applicable for low amplitude only <coughs> so understood net displacement is equal to sum of the uh, individual displacement of the wave is known as superposition principle now one more important application for the superposition principle are interference of the wave when two waves of equal frequency and nearly equal amplitude stabling in same direction superimpose then the intensity is different at a different point at a same point intensity is large and other point nearly equal to zero so see here let us let at a given point two waves arrive with the phase difference of phi so let us first wave is y1 is equal to a1 sin omega t minus kx now the another wave is equal to y2 is equal to a2 sin omega t minus kx but the phi phase difference is phi now by superposition principle we can write here y is equal to y1 plus y2 
that is equal to a1 sin omega t minus kx plus a2 sin omega t minus kx plus 5. Now on solving uh, we will get uh, the equation which is equal to y is equal to a sin omega t minus kx plus 5. Now for a how you will find a for this equation combined equation a will be equal to a will be equal to a1 square plus a2 square plus 2a1 a2 cos 5 where 5 is the phase difference and if you want to find the theta that is the what is the angle uh, theta between the two wave of theta is equal to a2 sin phi plus a1 um, plus a2 cos phi okay uh, now you know that intensity intensity of the wave i is proportional to the amplitude square so i can be written as i1 plus i2 plus 2 root under i1 i2 cos phi so these are the equation we need to understand if you want to find a ratio of i1 and i2 so this will be equal to a1 by 2 whole square see here this is a2 this is the amplitude a1 so the net amplitude of the wave is a which is at an angle theta so theta can be found by this equation this is known as tan theta is equal to a2 sin phi by a1 plus a2 cos phi now constructive constructive interference construct means what when in uh, wave will have a same uh, wave will move in a same direction so it will create a wave with the maximum intensity so what will happen now phase difference should be 2 n pi why 2 n pi see here let us consider this is the wave one wave so another wave if if there is another wave with the same position will be considered after 2 pi only see let us see here up uh, see so another wave will come in the same situation same angle same situation same direction when their phase difference is how much 2 and pi either third wave it will be either this see here either 1 pi difference will be and 2 pi or difference will be 4 pi so it may happens so at this situation only you will get the con constructive interference so the phase difference is equal to 2 and pi what about the path difference so path difference is equal to n lambda path difference is n lambda a max is a1 plus a2 i max is equal to root and uh, i max is equal to intensity i1 plus i2 plus 2 i root under i1 into i2 so i max can also be rewritten like this root under i1 plus root under i2 whole square so i hope you have understood all uh, in a well way Now let us uh, discuss about the destructive interference that is having a minimum intensity. So in minimum intensity what will happen the phase difference will be uh, in a 2 and plus 1 pi only. Let us see here if there is a phase like this and if we want minimum intensity then the wave should be like this. So that is just uh, in the form multiple of a pi. So here what will happen uh, what we will get. Uh, so the phase difference phi will be 2n plus 1 pi then only the the interference will be uh, destructive if the path difference that is um, delta is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 so what we will get we will get a minimum as a1 minus a2 and i minimum as i1 plus i2 minus 2 i1 root under i i1 minus i2 e i minimum can also be rewritten as root under i1 minus root under i2 now if you want to find i maximum by any minimum just we can find like this so i maximum is root under i1 plus root under i2 
divided by root under i1 minus root under i2 whole square so in this way we will able to find find out now let us talk about the standing wave or stationary wave when two sets of a progressive wave trends of a uh, trends of a same type having same amplitude and same time period of the wavelength traveling with the same speed along the same straight line in opposite direction superimpose a new set of the wave are formed and uh, this is known as standing wave see here uh, let us consider this is a wave okay so the another wave formed is in this direction is like this okay so this type of wave is known as uh, standing wave this type of wave is known as standing wave so i will uh, show you with the pick up so that you will able to understand this wave so see uh, this is the wave uh, which is the mixing of uh, both the wave okay so it is also known as stationary wave or a standing wave okay So here what we uh, we will get see here uh, this is the end point we, where the particle move uh, is at rest at this point particle is at rest but everywhere you will see that particle we move till this direction here the particle will go up at this distance at this distance if you want to see if at this extent so here the particle will move like this so everywhere the particle will do shm except node so the maximum displacement uh, where the particle moves is known as anti nodes so these are the anti nodes and the dis distance between two consecutive node is lambda by 2 okay and uh, distance between anti node and uh, node is uh, anti node uh, node and node is lambda by 4 so distance between one node and this node is lambda so the loop length it is also known as loop length loop length can be written as lambda by 2 and the phase difference is pi between the two loops now what we what uh, what is uh, anti node uh, node and anti node uh, in a stationary wave node and anti node are formed alternatively nodes are the point which the which are always in a rest and having a maximum strain while anti nodes it is the point where the particles vibrate with the maximum amplitude having a ma minimum strain see here anti node has the maximum amplitude but strain is zero or minimum but at this point the particle is not moving but the strain is maximum strain is maximum at this point okay now the distance between two successive nodes or anti nodes is known as lambda by 2 and the distance between node and anti node is lambda by 4 at a node air pressure and density both are light high while at anti node air pressure and density are low okay what is the characteristics of the standing wave so this wave are produced in a bonded medium and it can be transverse or longitudinal all particle except at a node vibrate in shm all particle in one particular segment vibrate in the same phase particles in a two consecutive segment differ in phase by 180 degree all points except nodes pass through their mean position twice in one time period so in one time period see here if we talk about one time period so in one time period this goes one times again back and again comes so how many times it passed mean position two times so 
it passed two times medium passes in a two time two times okay velocity of the particle while crossing a mean position varies from maximum at uh, anti node to zero at nodes the total energy associated with the stationary wave is twice the energy of each intent uh, each of a incident and reflected wave not till now this is this is enough for today so thank you